Hey, welcome back to my garage. This is the Ducati Scrambler 2016 Adventure Bike Upgrade number two. If you saw my last video, I did our original uh, upgrades that were done to the bike. Let me just go over those real quick, but I just advise you to watch that to get a better idea. So some of the things I covered last time was the engine bars that are protection bars that I made myself and then uh, the skid plate upgrade how to remount that and make it more secure so you don't smash your oil uh, filters and stuff like that and also the bark busters covered those last time uh, covered the DG silencer and removal of the original catalytic converter monstrosity that was on there and then also the phone holder and then underneath that we've got a, a phone charger GPS charger as well added to that uh, put the light guard on the front there again you can see that in my first video and then you might notice these fenders as well fender upgrades for off-road and the Rizoma fender in the back and remounting of the license plate that's uh, Republic of Georgia by the way you see that GE on there and then uh, yeah I also talked a little bit about the uh, custom tank color you don't find that in 2016 that was added actually before I got the bike uh, but it's pretty cool looking another thing I covered last time was these nice Kitaba or Kitabo I'm not sure how you say it uh, foot pegs oh those make such a difference off-road okay so what changes have I made to it well what are the upgrades uh, you know this whole coronavirus I've had uh, more time in the garage and probably less time out with people and it is winter time as well right now it's January so it's kind of cold outside so it gives me time to tinker uh, but over the last few months <clears throat> some of the things uh, I've added to it are this uh, new stronger rack and you can see I've incorporated into that rack the uh, saddlebag guards there uh, speaking of the saddlebags got them over here on the shelf I got a set of uh, Givi soft bags and they fit right over there and boy that makes it nice for camping because I do like to go camping I can put those on there and for long haul trips uh, I've still got the uh, as I mentioned before I've got the extra tank up there and mount for that but then something new I got was this uh, giant loop gas bag uh, that makes it really nice because you can fill that up with uh, about one gallon a little more about four liters and then when you've dumped that into your tank you just roll it up and stash it away and it takes up a lot less room than that does might notice the handlebars are different uh, somebody had taken when I got it the original handlebars off and they put some smaller bars on there that are probably better for the road but I like off-road so I searched around and I found these original handlebars now the Ducati bars are very expensive the originals but I got these on eBay uh, for $45 on a bid and then I added to them this crossbar you can see it's just a pad on the top but the crossbar goes across and uh, strengthens them a bit and if you remember from my last video uh, one of the upgrades I put on it was these risers now for some people those bars might be kind of high but me I like to stand up when I ride especially when I'm going off-road and trail riding and uh, and it makes a big difference in comfort well she's got up to about 11,280 kilometers I'll let you figure out how many miles that is um, that's still not a lot uh, but uh, I wore out the original Pirelli tires and so as you can see this big back monstrosity here I added to this this is a Kenda big block it's a 170 60 17 and I've seen on some discussions on Thumper Talk or, or no Ducati or some site like that um, where they wonder if you can put a 170 on there because the original is a 180 and it 
they're hard to find. You don't find a lot of uh, more aggressive tires in 180, and if you do, they're very expensive. Uh, this is a more inexpensive tire, but that 170 fit right on there. Of course, the battle change in a tire that big on a mag, but uh, yeah, it went right on. Um, it's tubeless and uh, works great. Okay, up front you can see I also changed the front tire. It's got some real big lugs on there. That's the Anarchy Wild. I went for that. That's a 130-80-18, so it's a lot bigger than the original, but it really grabs when you're off-road, and bigger gives you a little more cush. It says that it's, uh, that it's uh, a tube tire, but I went ahead and put it on tubeless, and I haven't had any trouble with it. So there's no tube in there, so if I get a flat, you can just plug that. Um, another thing I did, and you'll see, uh, uh, it's just got the stock forks on there, except for these uh, upgraded that I did in my last uh, video, was the uh, upgraded um, fork guards there, sorry. And, uh, but if you've ridden these much, um, the shocks aren't very good. In the back, shocks not very good, and the forks are not very good. They bottom out a lot in the front, especially going off-road. Maybe good for riding around town. But one thing I did, and it really helped, was I took them off. I drained all the old oil in it. It looked really bad, and it wasn't even that old. And I did a secret trip trick, I'm going to tell you, that's going to just change these front forks for you. And just just night and day. And it's not going to bottom out anymore, and uh, much more comfortable. And what I did is, instead of the regular fork oil, I put in, yep, just ATF. I think that ATF is about 15 weight, something like that. And uh, it just made night and day difference in riding it. Uh, the back shock's still not that great. I'd still like to change that for an Olin's or something like that that made it run a little better, but they're very expensive and this one works good enough for right now. Um, another thing I did, let me just pop the seat off and uh, I'll show you an upgrade I did that saved a lot of weight. Okay, yeah, let's get that seat off there. And there it is. Anti-gravity battery. Now it's a lithium battery. And it probably weighs about a quarter of what the original lead acid battery weighed. And so it's saved a lot of weight. That's the original battery there. And it oh, weighs a ton. As most lead acid batteries do. If you saw my first video, you, I had uh, put some little uh, turn signals on there, but they didn't work out very good. So I got these new uh, aluminum ones here, and they're very strong. Problem is I had in the back was when I put my uh, saddlebags on, and sometimes they hit these, it was breaking the old ones. So these are mounted better on this new rack, you can see. And they're made of uh, good strong aluminum or steel. And they're very bright, and they work, yeah, they work really good. Definitely recommend those, and they're not real expensive. Another thing you might notice when you start riding these is that original seat is very hard. Makes your butt very sore very fast. So I went for a seat concepts upgrade. It's a pretty good seat. It's built well and not too expensive. Uh, it was still a little bit hard for me. Um, so in one of my other videos on my site, you can see that uh, I show how to soften the seat. And if you look at this, you can kind of see some ribs there. That's where I've, I've done the seat softening uh, technique that I've done on a few bikes. And uh, it's, it makes it a lot softer. So you can see a video on that. Now, some people ask, does a Ducati Scrambler make a good off-road bike? Does it make a good... Uh, Adventure bike? Well, hey, the original scramblers were the original dirt bikes. Of course, that was many years ago. The suspension isn't as good as some of the uh, better bikes, some of the more expensive, bigger bikes like the Africa Twin, maybe the Yamaha Tenere. But I'll tell you what, this weighs a lot less than they do. You know, the Africa Twin weighs about 550 pounds, and the Tenere is about 450, 60 pounds. This baby weighs in at under 400 pounds. In fact, I weighed it at 391 pounds with about a half a tank of gas. Uh, I know that's less than it weighs originally, but 
a lot of it was due to changing that rear uh, muffler and putting on a, just a small silencer and then also that anti-gravity battery helped a lot and how did I weigh it well if you look up on the ceiling here I've got a winch up here and then I've got a scale not very expensive but good for weighing your motorcycles and things like that Well, I love this Ducati Scrambler. I think it's the king of the Scramblers. I mean, much better than the Triumph and the other ones that are out there. It's not a full-on adventure bike. It doesn't have the suspension. But if you're going to go trail riding and you're going to go adventure riding, camping, this is the bike. The seat is so much lower than some of those bikes. Easy to control. It weighs less. Um, you can really load it up. It's got 75 horsepower from this 800cc motor it'll get you where you want to go and it's just a blast to ride so i encourage you to check these out and they're not that expensive get one second hand or even get one new well i hope you enjoyed the video and uh yeah get out there and ride your bikes and uh if you like this uh video at all you know hit the like subscribe if you like um yeah just have a great day and a great adventure